Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. And in this 21st episode of our fight to the top as local racing legend, Mikey Kyle, we are going to start our championship run in the Bush Series. But before we do that, we got to buy a Bush Series team and get a, a Bush Series sponsorship. So, you know, we, we don't have courtesy coils or Viber Band in trucks anymore. And we're not even going to drive that truck. We're going to get someone else to drive it. But I think the most important thing that we do is go over here. We're going to buy RWI Racing, which has Jamie McMurray as a teammate. And it's a Dodge team because I want to drive a Dodge. And I think the, the next best alternatives would have been uh, Everham Motorsports. Yeah, and you've got... These three drivers as teammates. And I think if I buy this team, they put me in a Chevy, even though it's a Dodge team, which that doesn't make sense. And then somewhere in here, yeah, there's Pinsky. That's also an option. But I don't think I need to help Ryan Newman. He, he's got his shit figured out in the Bush series. So, yeah, let's get this one. And now, we need to get a sponsorship. Before I even do, you know, all the upgrades and stuff. But yeah, there, there's the Dodge. The reason I want this team is because whenever I get this one, we can have Kroger on the hood, which will help me recreate a certain car from Mikey Kyle's actual career. And there you go. The Kroger Dodge, number 25. This I'm remaking based off of his Sears car that he won at Michigan in the ARCA series. Now, he never actually won anything in the Bush Series, but we'll recreate specific Bush Series cars later on when we get to Cup, so you can expect that. But yeah, it's um, pretty much down to a T, as close as you can possibly get to remaking that car. And Kroger is all the more fitting because it is red, white, and blue. So somehow i got to put a damn Kroger logo on a shirt, though. I don't know how easy that's going to be, even if it is distorted. But yeah, yeah, you got all dressed up in his fire suit. Now we can go back to team management. And I need to make our cars 80%. The reason why 80 and not 90 or 100 is because I, I test this. I got practice, you know, playing this part of the career on Legend Difficulty. And it was too easy on 100 for sure. And it was also too easy on 90%. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do for that. But we're still going to make our pit crews 100%. And hopefully... 80% is not too bad on the upgrades for the cars. Hopefully they're still capable of driving things. And if not, I can always upgrade them to 90% again. Man, I was dominating the championship on 90%. Do, 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 do. And if all else fails, I can go back to 70% next season in the Bush Series. Let's go to sponsorships. See what's available this season. Born Free. That's not even real. Little Trees. And well, it's Pride Month, so yeah, they got your rainbow stuff. And then All Pro. Um, I wish they still offered Napa, because Napa, I could make like a Christian Eckes 19 truck or something for me to never even drive. Well, sell this. Let's go buy a different one. You know what? Let's buy Bobby Hamilton Racing, <laughs> because Bobby Hamilton's on this team. We can make his truck better. Chase Montgomery's on this team, and he always does like amazing. So let's try to make a bunch of money from those guys. And let's see what sponsorships they have to offer. So I can make a, you know, a nice custom truck. Zap Sparks Plugs. Spindle Gear Lube. And Outtake Intake. None of these are real. What happened to Napa? Why are like some of the best teams with like the most paying sponsors, they're not even real sponsors? Well... You know what? Fine. Let's just go with outtake intake then. There. I tried. Close enough. I don't know if that's the, the appropriate like uh, number font. But yeah, you get the point. I wish they had just given us Napa. So let's get out of here. Um, we got a hired driver for this series now. And I don't know who's available. Because I just let go another guy to buy this team. So yeah, I should probably just put Jack Knight from the Bush series in the truck series now. His last finish was 35th. I'm going to sell this modified team because all my drivers keep performing like crap. I want to buy a team that I can actually run well. I'm going to buy Rising Dragon Motorsports 
This is the second lowest team uh, as far as price goes, but it's got Alan Walker and Stu Floyd. I can give them way better cars, and I can be making money from how well they're doing. Now, I don't know about the sponsorships. We'll find out about that in a bit. So, yeah, before we even get the sponsorship, I guess I'll do this. Make whatever driver we hire have a great car. And I know that's Alan Walker. I think that's Stu Floyd. Give them all fantastic cars. I want them to all have the best cars possible. Make me money. My other drivers on the other team weren't making me money. I don't understand that whenever I spent all the money. You can hire better drivers. I don't know. I'll finish last every race. Bullcrap. So, yeah, we'll make money from merchandise from this team. Oh, dude, why is this so complicated? Why do I have to click X and then do, 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 then click X and do, 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 do. Okay, so that's done with. I got to redo the paint job and all that. Well, we got UPS here, but we couldn't have UPS or even Napa over there a while ago in trucks. Coffee blasts. Zombie taco meters. I can go for some tacos right now, but hey, that'll match the paint job because it's purple and green. Okay, so now that's taken care of. We just need to hire a driver again. And I guess we'll hire Chase Diggs. He was the guy that was driving for us back a while ago. I don't know who else to hire because they always just finish last. But oh my goodness, that took so very freaking long. But we've got our, our two modified truck series teams that were running in the background. Hopefully they do well now that I've rearranged some things. And that is the team that we're going to go drive for. So now we can actually start the season. By racing at Daytona. It says Milwaukee because that's modifies. Yeah, that's Daytona qualifying. I don't want to qualify for Daytona. I want to start last and see how fast these cars are. Kevin Harvick won the first race in the truck series. EA Sports welcomes you to the Daytona International Speedway. Today, it's the Hershey's Pit by 300 for the NASCAR Bush Series. We have a great day for racing on the high banks of Daytona, and these drivers are anxious for the start of this race and the start of a new season. Of course, every team hopes to get off to a good start, and every driver knows what it means to win at Daytona. So this one is all about opening day performance and the season-long pressure. Only one driver can begin the new year with a win. Who will start the season by spraying champagne? We're about to find out. The green flag at Daytona is just moments away. Thank you, um, Bill Weber. I didn't think that was Bill Weber. Now, the back of the car, I don't think it's supposed to be like this, but I guess it gives us something to look at while we drive it. Um, I guess Jay McMurray did not qualify either. Old Spice fantasy car back here. We got two Old Spice cars. The other one is Tony Stewart. It's in the same paint job, so that makes things confusing. But, yeah, we've raced here before in the Bush Series. We drove the 10 car a bunch of races. I don't know how many starts we actually made in the Bush Series whenever we race with PPC. But now we own a team and we're running the whole, the whole season. And okay, I guess we're gonna get one of those awful EA Sports restarts where the freaking car just don't go. But that's all right, I could still make shit happen. So I'm gonna share a draft with you. I, I know what, what I'm capable of because with a 90% car, I just flew through the field. And if we don't do that well in this race, we have all the other races where we'll still do pretty good. Bump. I'm, I'm trying to bump draft you. And instead, you're in the wall. Instead, you're in the wall. And I have to avoid your ass. Well, because you're you're too slow. Now we're actually hanging with the pack. Now that Jamie McMurray has damage, we're actually staying with the pack. How? I don't... Oh, my God. They're all taking pit stops. And the whole field is checking up for them. I'm going to pass stupid Dale Jr., I'm on the apron. I'm, I'm okay. Move, Dale Jr. Fuck you. You, you make this terrifying. Now, we're not going to finish well in this race because of that caution. I mean, like, I was able to, to go from last to first whenever I practiced doing all this. But no, I did not need my, my teammate driving so slow at the start of the race that I couldn't even bump draft him. Also, he wouldn't stay center at the front of, of my bumper. He was going up the track, and I was trying to not go up the track. Ugh. Oh, you're being tight. Ooh, are we really going that fast? I feel like we're going that fast. I know we're going to have great straightaway speed at like every other track, but the steering is one thing I'm worried about. Because it's always bad. 
It's just a matter of how bad it is. These freaking AI. I need to get used to racing EA Sports AI again. Like, they're throwing me off. Like, the, they block, and then it's like, oh, well, he's underneath me now. And then, then they go back to blocking. <laughs> I, I've played enough of other NASCAR games where they race you respectfully that I'm, I'm not used to being disrespected constantly. Oh, shit, that guy just fucked himself up. <laughs> he pulled behind the lap car. I am gonna... Drink my root beer. And there is J.J. Illy. He won the Bush Series Championship last time I raced in it, I think. I don't remember who won the Bush Series Championship last season. I mean, you might. I don't, I don't freaking know because I've played this game in quite a few weeks. Go. Go. I. This is one of my sponsors for one of my teams. So, I need you to go. I, you know, I don't know why that's worth mentioning because, like, I have so many drivers, teams, whatever, that anything I do could possibly be seen as a, a gain with my sponsors. I got five drivers in modifies, and then I've got four drivers in trucks, and I never keep any mind, like, what sponsors are what, so whether or not I'm actually helping a sponsor in a different series by giving a little bump draft to Daytona. I haven't decided whenever I want to pit yet, but Jamie McMurray hasn't either. And his name is so hard to say. I can't wait to fuck up that name so many times this season. Why is it... His name is a stutter. Jamie McMurray. It's not Jamie Murray. It's Jamie McMurray. So you just gotta stutter. I gotta stutter every time I say this fucker's name. Shit. Carl Edwards is leading the race right now. We are up to 11th. Granted, several people have pitted. Well, the car didn't go there. But I, I got a big old run off and then... Zoop, there goes Mark Martin. Mark Martin drives a nine car. That, okay. Didn't know that. I want to get off the apron. I just want to pass him. I'm not allowed to pass him. I have draft. I don't have speed. Well, glad that's how this car is driving. Glad that I know that now. So, Jim McMurray is pitting. Still can't say his name right. All right, there we go. Um, No, I don't have no damage repair. I want to win this race, but I want to see how good this pit crew is. Which should be something that we're asking because I gave them maximum upgrade on pit crew. We didn't fully upgrade the car, but I gave the best pit crew I possibly could buy. I don't know if that was grammatically correct, but you get the point. I'm just worried that either me or Jamie McMurray is going to wind up losing 30 spots. That, that almost always happens. Hey, there's Carl Edwards. He was just leading. Um, there, there's Fancy Car passing me. And we're not even on the track. Well, there's not anyone coming up behind us right now. And then this guy's just going to drive slow. If there was someone coming up behind us, I would get out of their way. Damn, I'm, I'm going to catch Carl Edwards right here. We had, we had a fast pit stop. Well, that's something you can't get in NASCAR 08 or NASCAR 09. Oh, but this guy's going to come and take it from us. Um, we're going to catch Carl Edwards. I don't know if we're going to pass him. Then there goes Kyle Busch, I believe. Well, I mean, I'm satisfied with this. Um, what I'm really concerned about is Jamie McMurray, so we just swap back to him. Okay, so my teammate didn't wreck himself. And Jamie McMurray is 36th, just like I figured. He was moving forward. Well, now he's just falling back. Everybody's taking pit stops. I need a drafting buddy. And I, I can't work with that guy because he's got someone in the way. Okie dokie, here we go. Got a big old run on that guy. Now now we've got a run going. I need to keep this run going. I need to keep this momentum going. Damn it, Dale Jr. Always fucking Dale Jr. Hey, at least we're both beating the whoever drives the 10 car. Is that also Terry Cook? Because the 10 truck was Terry Cook. And I think it's still PPC Racing in both series. Yeah, we got some momentum going, and there's a bunch of people coming off pit road. Bunch of people coming off pit road. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, boy. Well, at least I got to use some draft from the zombie car. But I'm not going to be able to finish this race with Mikey Kyle. I think I have more important things to be concerned about. Also, in the Bush series, you got cup drivers that don't run the full season. That's why they've never been winning the championships. It's because they go dominate several races, then don't actually run the whole season. What are you doing, you animal? Why are you getting so close to me like that? I don't like that. So this is my first time driving Jamie McMurray all race, so like any contact I made with any other driver 
gets nulled by the fact that it's with this guy, they become like his rivals, not Mikey Powell's or something. Okay, we got all these cars in front of me. And I am using the draft to get big run off of the corner. I'm trying to finish in the top 20 or something. And it looks like we're going to do that. Yeah, once you get that run going, make it happen. But, like, if your car ain't that fast on its own, then see how that turns out. Okay, so we're up to 18th. Now we're drafting Mark Martin. He's going to try to block me. Ugh. Okay, give him the bumper a little bit. It looks like we're going to finish 17th. Yeah, that they're going to block the track right here. So 17th isn't bad considering the fact that he was just going to run 36th. Might have passed some cars that came off pit road. And Mikey Kyle still manages to finish top five. Brandon Miller got past him. Well, I don't know if Brandon Miller actually got past him. I think Brandon Miller hadn't pit yet. And then he came off ahead. I've got mail. What's the mail say? It is a phone message. Upgrade my pit crew. Hey, man. Ace Moneymaker here. Uh, I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but your pit crew... Wait a second. Well, what? Craftsman Truck Series pit crew is at 50%. Wait. I didn't already do that? I thought I did that. No, no, I did not do this. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, I did that. They all have great pit crews now. I didn't even realize that I never upgraded their shit. So that was the first race kind of wasted as far as performance goes. Yeah, um, whoever that guy is, yeah, he needs to have a great truck. I want Bobby Hamilton to have a great truck. I want him to win the championship. Deborah Renshaw, I mean, you're not going to beat Bobby Hamilton, but I'll give you a great truck. And, well, Chase Montgomery, you don't need my help. Uh, administration. Yeah, I, I, no, all the way. I did not do any of this. There's so much stuff to do. And I'm glad they made it so complicated. I don't get it. I just raced in the truck series for so damn long. And they're driving the same trucks in that race that they had for all that time. But... Now that I'm not here, Chase Montgomery is 20th, Bobby Hamilton is 22nd, and Deb Renshaw is 24th. What about the guy that I hired? What's he doing? Um, I don't even remember his name. Oh, he's last. Great. Anyways, let's go run the second race of the Bush Series season, which should be California Speedway. I am actually going to qualify for that. Tony Stewart wins the Daytona 500. That never happened. I'm kind of curious how qualifying is going to go throughout the season since this equipment isn't maximized. And whenever it isn't maximized, it usually sucks. But it's close to that. So we're not bad, but... Yeah, we're hanging around the top ten. Looks like our straightaway speed is getting us close to the full time. The dang mirror is going to go on and off because of how hard I'm steering the car. I'm going to tap them brakes. Still feels like it's actually going to arc it all the way. The apron does get you loose and help you steer, but if you grab it too long, it'll spin you completely around. Are we going to get the pole on the first lap? No, we got second. Well, I don't feel like running an entire another lap. So, destruction! Drinking my root beer. and So we started this race next to Shane Meal, who is getting great speed at the start. Yeah, I'm on the outside, and this is just how the car is going to drive. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to tap the brakes to actually get it to steer. They're going to put me in a really awful situation to start the race. Well, why Why does every race at this track have to go this way? I hate racing this track. This track is awful in this series. It was really not that bad in truck. But here, Bush Series. So bad. I can't forget how the last Bush Series race this track went. All right, so I guess we're just going to go to the back of the field. If I was to the inside, this would not be a problem right now, but I can't get clear. I've got all this straightaway speed, and I can't do anything with it. i got all this straightaway speed, can't do anything with it. Thank you. Okay. It's so loose. Ah! I am terrified. Hey, there's a caution. Nice. From 17th? Or did that guy pass me whenever I was 16th? I don't know. The shoe car bashed the, the deodorant car. I hate driving this car at this track. It's not good at it. I mean, I, I'm good at it whenever the car drives right, but it doesn't do that. Yeah, we're 16. What am I so worried about with, like, positions whenever we don't even have double-file restarts? 
NASCAR, look what you did. You, you made me concerned about what position I am at random times during races. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that, that, that was a good restart. We got our, our straightaway speeds. We're going to drive away from those buffoons. That B4 it breaks car parts. Car looks like Kevin Harvick's Coast Guard car. Which I was hoping I'd see in this game, but then I realized, oh no. It's just the Reese's 21 by Brandon Miller. Kevin Harvick. I don't know what Kevin Harvick is driving in the Bush series. I, I thought he might have been in here somewhere. Oh my god. Straight away speed. That car looks like milk. Milk on a white surface. That's what that car looks like. Okay, so yeah, I got some people behind me. I don't know what they're trying to do. I have no control of the front end of this car. I have hard enough time controlling the rear end of the car, but I mean, we're running okay. Jay McMurray's in the back of the field. Of course he is. He's not last. Turn, turn, turn. Thank you. What is happening? This dumbass behind me is making me loose. He's nowhere near me, but you know, he's making me loose. Ugh. I think it's just important that I get both me and Jay McMurray to finish well every race. I don't know about winning things. I don't think we even have a car capable of winning this race because our car is so damn bad. Okay, that's how I need a corner to go. If I could stop getting stuck on the apron. See, that works with this track, but it gets bad really easily. I'm going to try to pass a bunch of these guys, and I don't know if that's a really good idea. If I can get the car to turn. There we go. See, I know how to do it, but I consistently do it wrong. It's hard to actually make it do, do it right. So we're in the top 10. We're about to make it into the top 5. And I think that'd be good enough for me. Brian Vickers is leading. Any Brian Vickers fans watching this right now? Yeah, stop. 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 Slow down. Very slow driving, please. And then this guy behind me, I don't know what he's doing to me, but I feel tight or something. Okay, I'm 6th. I thought I just passed two cars. Whatever. Go back to McMurray. Why are you three wide? Why are you always next to fucking J.J. Ealy? Aaron Crocker. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. So, we're at the back of the field. And also, our teammates' cars always drive better than ours. So, not only are we going to have straightaway speed, but we're going to turn better. Um, we, might, we might be looser. I don't know. So, it's going to be easier to pass people because we're behind slower cars. You know how the game's rubber banding works. It always makes it like that. Okay, so, we'll take every corner, perfect as I can. Oh, it's it's doing the thing. It's doing that thing where they make my car do weird stuff in, while I'm trying to turn. I'll turn all the way, and the game will make it turn less and jerk and wobble, and then I don't understand it. Can someone who makes video games explain what the hell EA Sports was doing whenever they made this game's physics engine? Like, I'm steering, and... It, it starts going straight, then it steers some more. Then it's, and I'm just like, dude, I, I don't even have the assists on. What the fuck? And before Jesse Ladner comes in with all his, you gotta get a steering wheel comments and something like that. I, I don't think there's a difference whatsoever. If you steer all the way on an analog stick and you steer all the way on the steering wheel, then like, what, nothing's gonna change. But with this game, no, sometimes you're steering all the way and the car just starts doing its own thing. We're about to get into the top 10. And you know, we're past the halfway point. Granted, we did have a caution on, like, what, lap two? I think that was lap two. Oh, my God. I am trying to not drive onto the apron, but I'm also trying not to hit cars, and you know, I got to pick one. I picked neither, and we're okay. We're alive. Driving like goddamn Amber Balkan over here. It's okay. We got this. Why? Why did you have to hit the brakes in front of me? You fucked up my whole goddamn corner. I just lost several spots because of that. Fucking Tony Stewart wannabe. Okay, so you know, let's get a big old run. Let's pass all the, the cars. I thought I was about to make the top ten. And instead that happened. I don't know when Mikey Kyle's been, but he's way at the top of the track. So I guess not this lap. I am all over the place, but I don't feel like it's under my control. I think we might be pitting as Jamie Murray this time. Instead of Mikey Kyle, because I've still got a bunch of business to do with him. I don't know how to pass these guys because I need a lot of room entering a corner at this track. Ugh. It sucks. It sucks so bad. I need the whole track. That, that's a lot of tracks in this game. I need the whole track. Some tracks I can drive fine without that top lane. 
Why? Why are y'all three wide or whatever? No. You know, we're getting close to the end of the race. And there goes Mikey Kyle down pit road. I am going to join them. Don't speed in, though. Is it the white line? It is the white line at California Speedway. Well, now that I know that, well, whenever we come here for a night race, I guess we'll be ready. I don't know if we even come here for night races in the Bush Series. You do in Cup, and I think the only truck race here is at night. But yeah, I get a full tank, four tires. Someone let me know in the comments if there is a night race in the Bush Series I've forgotten about. JG Hilly just ran over my tire changer. Bitch. He rolled the tire into my face. So that means this is going to be a fast stop. As long as they don't start some fumble animation. There goes Mikey Kyle. Pretty much the same distance off behind him as we were going in. I mean, it looks closer until he actually gets up to speed. Turn the car, please, for the love of God. I can't stay off the track. Well, I did as long as I could. Now I'm going to get in the way of everybody. No, we actually lost a lot of time on the road. So... What the hell do I know? He's like, Mikey Kyle's right in front of me, but then we got a ton of cars just flying right past us. You have no idea until you, you get onto the track and things don't look right. I mean, that's Aaron Crocker. Wasn't Jamie McMurray already next to Aaron Crocker? Oh my god, I can't talk. I cut out every attempt I make of making sentences and then completely failing. I mean, we're 18. So... Some people gain time on pit road, some people lost time. We wind up still being next to Aaron Crocker. What are you doing? That's not gonna work. That looked kind of trippy, to be honest. Yeah, I think we can still get a top 10 with Jay McMurray, that's obvious. Oh my goodness, I wasn't even trying to pass that guy. He just blocked me as I entered the corner. Ooh, that was a good turn. Oh, that was good, I liked that. JC1424 liked that turn. This damn old spice car got his ass obliterated, and he is just fast. Fast as shit. And just like that, oh, we, we are sideways in the turn one, but we are seventh. And now I got a huge gap to make up on the rest of the leaders. I don't think I need to worry about Jim McMurray that much anymore. I need to try to get Mikey Kyle this win. I'm going to wait until the front stretch, because I don't want to take control of this car in the middle of a turn. That would not be good. You can see Truex in the 8 car up there. But that's cool. Okay, now we'll go to Mikey Kyle. Okay, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Why is the leader so far away? He is three seconds away. These guys are just one second. God damn. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this race. We'll finish second, but we ain't going to win this race. Freaking Carl Edwards. Uh, I think Carl Edwards is still going to have the point seat after this one. If this is how it's going. Well, there's Kenny Wallace. Glad I improved his career. I mean, I think maybe I did somehow. I don't know. Now, Brian Vickers was leading the race for, like, the whole first half, and then after pit stops. I don't know what happened during Carl Edwards' pit stop, but he's all the way over there now. Ugh, I'm trying to use this straightaway speed to catch those guys. I got their draft. That was my fast slap of the race. Damn. Okay, yeah, I'm going to park a little bit. Grab that white line. And this is where we get the big runoff, but like I lost so much time in the corner that like I don't know if I actually gained anything. Oh yeah, I did. I did. Would you move? Fuck you. You suck. You're stupid. I don't like you. Ugh. Dive into the corner. Turn, please. Okay, that'll do it. That'll do it. We are going to finish second. I don't know how Carl Edwards did that. Ugh. See, Mikey Kyle had a good pit crew. He, he came off where he was, but Carl Edwards... Like, 2.5 seconds. That's supposed to be Jay McMurray. Not too sure that is Jay McMurray, though. Just as I suspected, Carl Edwards is leading by 35 points. Just over Mikey Kyle. Um, I'm not sure which of these drivers that are in Cup are, are going to run the whole Bush Series season. Like, Carl Edwards is in Cup. Brian Vickers is in Cup. Truex is in Cup. He's not even supposed to be. Um... What else? I mean, there's Jay McMurray, but he's my teammate, so he is going to run the whole season. Then Bobby Labonte, he's a cup driver. 
but he contended for a championship last time I raced a whole season in here. So, <laughs> I don't know how it decides. Anyways, on to our next race, which is at UPS. Oh my god. Greg Biffle wins at Auto Club in the Cup Series. And Simon Stevens. He used to be my teammate. Yeah, whenever I raced in the, the Modifieds, uh, Simon Stevens drove the Walmart car. Anyhow, I go, okay, we're just losing time in the straights. And oh, we're a lot better in this corner, though. We're so tight. Okay, 26 in the first lap. Yeah, that's all I could do because this car is really tight. I'm on to smashing the wall down next lap. This track is always so hard to drive. Hey, there's Jay McMurray starting right in front of me on the outside. I'm going to pull the inside immediately. So there's Clint Boyer in the two car. Uh, yeah, I think that's him. Yes, it is. Glad I was able to guess that right. Because at one point it was Ron Horaday. And I, I liked that a lot more. So, both me and Jay McMurray are on the inside, and we are on the move. Uh, this is probably not the proper way to drive the track. But now that we're racing, I can actually be competitive. In qualifying, not so much. I'm so focused in qualifying and trying so hard that I wind up just driving like shit at a track like this. Yeah, McMurray is on the move. Everyone on the outside is just falling back, so he's on the bottom. So he started on the outside, I started on the outside. But we're smart, so we got to the bottom, and now we're doing this. It looks like we're passing a bunch of people, but as a matter of fact, no, no, we're taking forever to do it. Where I am, I mean, I'm so tight. I don't know how to fix that. Because I'm trying to run the race right now. I can't take a pit stop and solve the problem. Then I just, then I'll be a lap down. Whenever we do pit, I don't know exactly what I would do. Would I take out half round a wedge? Or would I... Just take out the tire pressure. You take out tire pressure, then next thing you know, you got tires that wear even faster. Well, we're 21st. We've gained some spots. It's not a cakewalk. It's not an easy championship win, but with all the damn cup drivers that don't even run every race, I guess that makes it possible. So far, Bobby Labonte has decided to run every race, and I think he's going to, but he's not doing too well in the standings, so I, I'm not really all that concerned about it. As long as we finish near him, then he's not going to be a threat. Yeah, we're going to get there eventually. Now Jay McMurray's on the outside, and the mirror keeps on going on and off. Not exactly up to me. I don't need it right now, so whenever it comes on, I'm not asking for it to. Hey, you. Yeah, pass Clint Boyer. I don't know if I can say that I actually helped him do that. I got behind him and gave him a little arrow push or something. I am also going to pass Clint Boyer. Damn, I sent it into that corner. I passed two cars. Yeah, we're getting there. We're not passing cars as fast as I'd like to, but we're doing it. And now Clint Boyer is all over my bumper. Because I'm not actually that freaking fast. Jamie McMurray is, though. Jamie McMurray is fast here at UPS. Maybe you should get a job delivering packages. Is this a sign? He just got passed by the shoe car. Uh, I think I got to pass Jamie McMurray now. And we'll get back to him later because now he's just kind of holding me up or something. More speed? I don't need more speed. I need more grip. Well, Jamie McMurray is going down pit road, and we have gotten into the top 10, which means we are capable of getting Jamie McMurray to win a race, because this car is always better, and uh, we're this fast right now. Uh, Carl Edwards is not running the race, so we're going to take the points lead. I'm pretty sure of that, because, I mean, we're up here about to finish top five in the looks of it. Okay, well, he just passed halfway point, so I think I'm ready to take Mikey Kyle down pit road can't see underneath me. Okay, so yeah, we're clear. Don't speed in. Don't worry about him. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry about who. I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, we don't have no damage to fix, even though, I mean, I slapped the car, slapped the wall, it don't matter. Yeah, I, I don't think we should adjust how the car is driving. If I'm able to get up front with it, then I, I should just leave it as it is, before I fuck up something and break it. I like A&W root beer. Best root beer. If I press the X button and tap it, will it make it faster? Drop? Someone? God damn it. Jeremy Mayfield just crashed into me. My controller went haywire. That is not a word I use often. Okay, so yeah, we're 14th right now, and people are still taking pit stops. So, you know, we're lapped down. There's Jamie McMurray behind us. There's still some more cars on pit roads. So we're still gaining spots. I'm fifth. This is going to be fourth. And that's going to be third. That's Bobby Labonte. He was leading. The new leader is goddamn Jeremy Mayfield. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, 10 laps to go. I can't catch um, J.J. Ely or Jeremy Mayfield. Well, I was catching Jeremy Mayfield, but I was hurting myself in the process. I need to go back here to Jamie McMurray so I can do some stuff that won't hurt myself. Why are we a lap down, though? How did that happen? I'm confused right now. He was just right behind us. He's 38. What? How... This is so stupid. This is so goddamn stupid. Why are you, why, how did we just finish 37th with Jamie McMurray? Mikey Kyle finished third. We already knew that was gonna happen. Of course, as expected, Mikey Kyle is now leading the standings. 69 points over Aaron Crocker. Well, hmm, nice. But Jamie McMurray has fallen all the way down to 15th. That is pretty much a, a full race behind. It's almost a race and a half. Because this game won't stop being sucky and stupid. And I don't think like another truck race has been run in a while. Um, they're about to run another truck race. And they're going to do that at California. Why are they racing at California like three weeks after we just did in the Bush Series? Anyhow, let's go to Las Vegas. C. Fletcher wins a race in the trucks. Greg Biffle won at Vegas in the Cup Series. And they're asking me for autographs. No, I can't because then I'll just lose fans. Yeah, first lap is 20th. I know I can do better than that. Grab that apron a little bit. And, well, still get a big old runoff turn two. I need to get Mikey Kyle a good qualifying spot and then just focus on Jay McMurray in the next few races because I don't think I really have to do anything since he's leading the standings. This has been a really great lap and the stupid mirror keeps going on and off because of the L3. It's looking like top 10. Yeah, towards the front. 10th, that's on the outside. I don't like that. I don't even know where Jamie McMurray is starting in this race. But... Vegas hasn't really been kind to me, but like half the time. I, I still, I don't think I have as hard a time with this track as I, I do uh, California in most cases. I've probably called California Auto Club at least once in this freaking video because of like race names and shit. Where do you get the run off? Turn two. Oh, it, oh, it's jerking. It's doing that thing again. Rightio, we're gonna get the runoff to turn four. We're gonna pass some more cars. We got a handful of cup drivers in this race. I think Kevin Harvick is in that yard man car. I could be wrong. I have no idea. I think he drives that truck in the truck series. Okay, yeah, but we're making it happen. We're doing what we gotta do. I'll see where Jamie McMurray is in a bit. On. Get another one off of turn four. Where is McMurray? He is actually not too far behind. That is great to see. Well, let's just go right to him. Look at that, he's 20. Well, the field is still bunched together. No wonder why it looks like he's not far behind. Oh my god! I can't turn like that. And there's a caution. What's the caution? 
I thought there was a possibility that might have been my fault, but that happened back in the 30s. So that, that had nothing to do with me. Damn. I, I was all set and ready to pretend like it wasn't my fault, and then it actually wasn't my fault. Well, God damn. God motherfucking damn. So, we're still 20th, and I'm surprised this card had as much of an issue turning into turn one. Which is weird. That if I had taken that corner differently, that caution still would have come out. Hmm. That's, that's so strange. Well, we're on the move. Damn, this car is loose. I can feel it. Oh! And I'm ready to send it in, and then I can't tell if I'm going to get tight or loose. I don't know what the car is going to do. I am not sorry, Clint Boyer, because I don't like Clint Boyer. And we got straightaway speed. We have a, a weird lack in grip compared to Mikey Kyle, though. That's what it feels like. Past this dude. Oh, it's sideways. I am on the apron. That is supposed to help. I, I guess I could say it helped. Do not hit the wall. We're going to find our way up front, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be easy. I think we're going to cause some wrecks trying to get there. It feels like I'm about to wreck every damn corner. Oh, turn. It's it's trying to decide whether or not it should. It's doing this weird shit where, like, I'm turning, but the car it either does or it doesn't, and it's just back and forth. Tug of war trying to get this car to do race car things. Let off. It's weird. It's like the back end it starts to poke out, and then it just stiffens itself up. There's no assist on, so I don't know what's actually happening. Come on. Please stop. Why? It's hard enough as it is. Ugh. Turn. Get it. Yeah, use some of the apron. Oh. Oh. You. Go away. Go away. I'm tired of racing you. I, I race you really hard for two laps. We don't need to do this. I'm trying to pass a bunch of cars, not just one. Get it. Get it. Get it. And people are starting to take pit stops. This is going to move us up to 14th. I mean, some guy just pulled off the track, so I don't know if it's actually 14th or not. Mikey Kyle looks like he's running fourth right now. Wow, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just not even hitting the brakes for the corner. I'm just using up the entire goddamn apron. That was not the plan there, but it worked. You know, I was thinking maybe I should pit sometime soon. Well, people are going to slow down for other cars pulling up the track, so I'm going to have to pass those guys, or I would like to. How did they slow down coming off the corner and then I can't pass them at the end of the straightaway? And we're going to spin because this car is too hard to drive. The tires are extremely worn, and it does not do well on tire wear. Oh! Good pit stop. 15 seconds. What are you doing? Go! You just let three cars by. You let five, six cars by. Well, he's up front now. Uh, Mikey Kyle, well, he's, he's not too far behind us, so that's good too. But now I gotta get Mikey Kyle back up front in a while. Wow, that rhymed. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! I hate you! I fucking hate you, Jeremy Mayfield! I'm sick of your bitch ass! Turn car. I don't care that I took out Wedge. Just do shit right. Ugh. I didn't even take out Wedge. I added Wedge. I don't know what I did. What I did, what was smart at the time, and it's not working. Ugh. I don't know how to get this car to just drive fucking normal. Mikey Kyle's car did, and this one doesn't. So, they all just stopped behind us. I don't know what all that bull honky is. Ugh. It's tight. I can get it to turn. Whenever the tires wear, that's what's really going to determine how this car will drive because I feel like I spent most of that run just sliding around. Okay. This is good. This is how I want the car to handle it, for the most part. I mean, if I can just get Jamie McMurray a win, that would be nice. I mean, I mean we could probably do that. Just stop worrying about Mikey Kyle for once. Give McMurray some attention. Mikey Kyle ain't even won yet, but we can give McMurray a win. 
this guy, this fucking guy. Fucking sick of that guy. I don't really know what to do, but I'd actually upset his race on purpose because I, he pisses me off. I, I don't think there's really anything I can do. I'm running clear out of grip off the corner. Not a surprise. Okie dokie, I don't like you! I fucking hate you! Go away! Where did Mikey Kyle finish? Looks like he finished top 10 or something. Well, no, he finished right outside the top 10. Well, we got Jamie McMurray a lot of points. Yeah, and yeah, Mikey Kyle finished 13th. He could have finished top 10 if that caution did not come out right after he entered pit road. And just like that, Mikey Kyle's lead is down to 9 points over Shane Meal. Jamie McMurray's on this front page, up to 6th. Of course, he went from 185 to 159, so I think in reality a bunch of those cup drivers just dropped in the standings or something. But I mean, as long as Jamie McMurray is on this front page, I mean, I'm, I'm not uh, that upset. It sucks that Mikey Kyle's lead is decreased. I mean, I automatically have to go run the next race with the intent of, yeah, gaining points for the guy. So I can't really focus that much on Jamie McMurray again. Uh, I didn't look at the truck series standings, but we'll do that after this next Bush Series race, which is at Atlanta. This is almost a full throttle track in these cars. I'm not sure why. Because in trucks, I definitely had to like let off the gas and hit the brakes here and there. And we are just in contention to get the pole. There's a gnat flying on my face. It's on my nose. And I'm trying to drive. Can you please stop that? I can't make gnats go away. Well, that corner could have gone better. So, where are we starting in this race? Third? That's on the inside. Well. Destruction! I don't know if this race is going to take like 10 minutes to run. It's 24 laps, so I mean, I, I guess that would be fair. But I got to get ready and leave for work in 10 minutes. And also, I have an alarm on my phone to let me know to do that. I can't turn off the alarm un unless I'm not recording a video. So that, that's interesting how that goes. So when we started third, well, didn't we just drop back to, to fifth? And I guess we're going up the track. That's fine. I got straightaway speed. So we're going to fly past Bobby Labonte and whoever this guy is. Ugh. And then I think that's going to get us back into third. I can just barely graze that white line to get a good corner. But if we nip the apron, it's all over. I get the feeling that eventually I am going to do that. Now, big question. Every damn race is. Where's Jay McMurray? He is probably like 20th again, I guess. Well, let's see if I can get to the lead before we even worry about him. Huh. I can't keep up with cup drivers. That is actually pretty fucking sick. It's like a flashback to 2005 where the Bush Series drivers can't keep up with the cup drivers. What the fuck? And then my teammate is a cub driver, and he's driving junk, so he's running just as good as all the other Bush Series drivers. And he is in the 20s, like I said he'd be. So we're going to work with Jay McMurray like usual, and then we're just going to have to settle for third with Mikey Kyle. Unless both Kyle Busch and uh, Carl Edwards just throw away the lead or something. And yeah, then maybe he could win in that case. No, I, I, we cannot get our, our team to win races with this level of performance in our cars. Which is still better than all the other damn Bush Series drivers, but not better than Cup drivers that automatically get to have great equipment. You know, damn cars are all over the damn place. They're fast. You're like, you know how fast this car is compared to those guys. But then, it's like the Cup drivers, they just show up in Cup cars. You know, Mikey Kyle, he's just leading this group of Bush Series drivers, and he's not getting to the, the Cup ones. Maybe he could on his own. It's just taking a while. They're freaking three wide in front of me. Okay, now wait a second. Jamie McMurray just ran a, a, a best lap. A faster lap than I was ever able to run with Mikey Kyle. I'm telling you. Our teammates always get better cars. You give them the same ratings and their car is automatically better. Yeah, Matt Kidd does drive a waste management car. So I was correct about that. 
Well, what's your problem? Why are you running just outside the top 10 whenever you cup driver, drive a cup car? I don't get it. Was their Xfinity program not that good? Xfinity was Roush's Bush Series program not that good. I called it Xfinity. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Oh, my goodness. Get out the way. You're annoying. There's Ryan Newman. Wins so many races all on his own. So, yeah, I don't need to buy that Dodge team whenever he runs just fine on his own. Though he's usually up front. In this case, he's not either. Penske 39. It's weird how he went from Penske 39 to Stuart Haas 39. And God dang it. Shane Meal. Always Shane Meal. He's got two different cars, actually. I mean, I'm used to seeing, like, a green and silver one and then a red and silver one. But most of the time, I think he drives a red and silver one. Yeah, we've, we've gotten McMurray there. If you would just back off Shane Mill, we would not make contact. I, do, I need the whole track to make a corner properly. That goes pretty much everyone. Otherwise, we make a shitty corner, and we either collide or we hold each other up. That's kind of racing. And I don't know why we're doing that on lap 11 of 24. If I'm on the move, why would you just get in the way and then allow other people to catch us? Because they're not on the move. I just passed them. Yeah, there, there, Mikey Kyle still sitting in third. There goes Brandon Miller down pit road. Oh my goodness, I'm capable of memorizing the Bush Series driver names. That's that's great. Yeah, I think that Jay McMurray's car is actually fast enough to catch those leaders. But we're gonna have to wait until we actually get into third to find out, because that's where everything changes. It's like you get into a certain position, and suddenly they just stop you and say, "Nope, you ain't moving forward anymore." Would you move the fuck out of the way? That's asshole shit. They're doing some asshole shit. Don't speed in. And I am not going to speed in. I think we actually caught him a little bit. Now there's no damage to fix. The tires. We gotta win this guy a race, goddamn. So, yeah, we gotta get a full tank because I don't want to run out or whatever. And I think this would do it. I mean, we should be like five seconds faster if you just change the right side tires. And then don't fuck up. They rolled a tire into my face. That means fast pit stop. 9.8. And we're coming off pit row with the lead. Oh my god. Oh, but they're right behind me. Oh no. We got grip on the right side. It's the left side that we gotta worry about. Oh, we're gonna pull off. And we're gonna pull away too. Yeah, so don't forget about that. Oh no. He's here. Kyle Busch is here. Damn it, this sucks. I don't know what else I can do aside from just take right side tires. I can't even hold the bottom. Like, they're forcing me to just let the guy go. Well, I got straightaway speed, so... I'm not done yet. I, I ain't done yet. Oh, but I'm gonna enter the, from the bottom. Oh, we ran clear out of fucking track. Okay. I'm holding the brake. There, I held the brake. And no one crashed into us. Did that, that just put Mikey Kyle in the lead? And the race is out. What the fuck? That's not how that was planned. Okay, well, one of the drivers on our team won. What? Well, I didn't even get to do donuts. Shit. I don't think that Kyle Bush liked that. But we went into the corner from the bottom, and I held the brakes a bunch, but then it just went straight into the wall. And it also doesn't help that whenever you make contact in this game, the cars just get stuck together. And it's just hopeless at that point. But now we got a 67-point lead over Shane Meal. It just keeps going up and down, back and forth. And Jay McMurray, his gap increases because Mikey Kyle won. But he does move forward in points. He is now fifth. That is awesome. And in trucks, John Hamilton is leading the standings. I don't even know who the fuck that is. My drivers are not at the top of the table. Chase Montgomery is 12th, so that's nice. That's monies. Damn. 13 drivers within 100 points of the lead. And then Deb Renshaw is 20th, but that's not too surprising. Bobby Hamilton being 24th is, though. I don't understand that. I gave you an amazing truck. What? I... And then in modifieds, we got a driver up front in the standings. He's 56 back. Simon Stevens is dominating modifieds, and he's not my driver anymore. Now, I think that's fucking bullshit. What about Alan Walker? He's always up front. And now Alan Walker is... 
Well, Stu Floyd is 12th. That's the middle of the field. Al Walker is 19th. Lou Stan's 18th. It's like they specifically drive bad whenever I own the team. It's deliberate bullshit. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.